then just like that I'm 75 bucks poorer. So this has the acid separate. Add acid then charge battery. Got a clear drain tube. This is the exact same size as the old battery. It's a ten dollar core on the other one. So we're not gonna get this thing fired right away. Okay, come on now, where's the uh... The bag is folded over and taped and I can't find where the tape is. poking out down through there. So let me go grab my flashlight. Man, I just don't need it right now. Super start. I've never done this. So remove and discard red vent plug before filling with acid. That's this little guy on the side here. The instruction book says to do this as well. So that has been removed and we'll consider that discarded. Pull off. That's just a really big plug. There's a red Mustang ripping through the neighborhood right now. He was having issues when I was getting ready to head out for that battery. Car kept stalling on him. I don't know if he's done a tune or something on it. He's trying to get it to learn itself. So I'm going to transfer it over to... wish I had a board out here. I'll have to go grab one. Got one in the garage that I can sit on out in the yard. Or maybe we'll just do this out in the front. I think we'll go do that. I got a little workbench little thing out front that we can set this up on and fill the battery. I don't know if these are going to be suitable for battery acid, but it is bright out here. Yeah, 75 bucks for this little battery. Core charge. New battery, or without the old battery, it would have been eighty-five dollars after tax. So we have to save all these little red plugs because obviously they're going to go back in. And we've got ourselves opened up. We'll put these. Someplace, I guess I can put them in the box. Uh, remove vent caps and retain. Remove red vent plug. We've done that. Place battery in a flat surface in a well ventilated area. Remove red vent plug and discard. Do not reattach red plug after filling battery with acid. 
Remove plastic vent caps and retain. To be sure. Like to do the same thing over and over, don't they? And we got the Spanish instructions. Cut off the tip of the container of electrolyte. Doesn't tell you to take off the plastic wrapper. We're gonna violate the rules. Corrosive sulfuric acid for batteries. Causes severe burns. See if opposite side for warning. Dissolves it properly. Do not reuse. Flush eyes if you get it in your eyeballs. Can cause blindness or severe burns. No smoking, shield eyes, explosive gases, Ash. get some regular safety glasses on for this. Mustang I was talking about. Okay, that is opened. Fill battery with acid to upper level A. Let battery stand for 60 minutes before charging. Gently move battery from side to side to release any air bubbles between the plates. If acid level has fallen, refill with acid to upper level. This will be the last time electrolytes should be added. Return unused acid to the place where you purchased the battery or neutralize acid in an equal amount of baking soda. Too much clutch, I think, is what he's got. He keeps stalling it out. So. Well, that's going fast. That's just screaming in there. That's a right on the top. But Turns it red purple. It's going to take a while, so I'm going to shut you all off to conserve some battery, and we'll bring you back in a bit. Okay, battery's full. I did spill a little. I got to go get some is it baking soda. Is that what they call out? Yeah, baking soda. So I have to go right up to the store, pick some up just to neutralize it on the concrete. I know it's going to do the cement, but uh, pretty sure I don't have any in the house because I don't bake or cook or whatnot. So. Uh, yeah, battery's full. Gonna let it sit for an hour. Shouldn't be an issue. And, uh, well, we'll go from there. Probably pick you up tomorrow because it's about time to go to work. Okay, are we recording? We're recording. Can you see me? Not really. So, battery it's fully charged uh, 12.7 volts ready to rock and roll uh, we've got some new hardware here 
It's going to be fun to put everything in there. I've got to put a little drain vent on. Make sure that gets routed down to the bottom. So. I know you're not going to be able to see very well. That's the only spot that I can put the camera that you'll even be able to see anything. were threaded so you could get the screws in. The new one got these little nuts that just set in there. That's going to be a pain. That's going to be a pain. So I guess we don't need this hose then. Pinch the lime. Oh, the, the hose pulled out where I had it routed because it doesn't want to play nice. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. So, next we need to get our clamp back on. This guy. This is the end that goes up against the fuel tank and it's got a little hook and you have to finagle it down in there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this with the battery back in. But we're going to try. And of course the side with the bolt, but I've got to get around all of the wires. to the slot. Well, that worked. Put it on the end of my magnetic flashlight. Give it a couple of spins. That ain't right. Around 
up here somewhere. Alrighty, let me shut you off and figure this out. We'll be back in just a sec. Alright, battery's mounted. I was just trying to cross thread. So we got that figured out. Now I have to try to get my fingers in there and get all the connections hooked back up. Good times. Well, they do give you longer bolts for the battery though. That's a good thing. There's the one that came off the unit. There's the one that's going on. I don't know if you can see there. Just a hair longer. That will help. That will help. What size was that? Was that this one here? Why, yes it was. Unfortunately, like I said, I've got to deal with those little square nuts that have to sit down inside the terminal. Get those lined up just right. Um, ooh, a big ugly spider right there. Big ugly spider. There you go, go hide. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm going to have to run into the garage, grab my needle nose. So I took them with me when I was playing with the, oh we got these, let's try these, let's try these guys. Let's see what we can do. about that is by the time I do my stack up for my terminal is the screw going to be long enough to even get down there to grab that nut to start threading. So we've got our battery terminal and my Charger. Get those two lined up. It's kind of in place. show you what we're looking at here so here's where the battery sits there's the positive terminal right underneath there I set the nut in place it's laying on the bottom of the terminal but it's too low when I put my stack up together and I try to push the screw down it's not grabbing the nut so I have to figure out how to get something in this little tiny space 
to lift that nut up just enough that I can uh, get it to grab and keep everything lined up. There. All right, take two. I keep grabbing this thing and twisting the little selector mode on top of the camera and shutting itself off. <coughs> this is this is a pain. Twenty minutes I've been fighting this, and uh, I can't get the terminal to thread in. Uh, I'm using a zip tie try to bring the nut up closer so that the threads on the bolt will catch but it's just it's I can't get it now I drop the nut down alongside the battery and I can't reach it so I get to pull the battery back out now <sighs> good thing I have to go to work in a little bit so I can rest and recuperate let me tear everything back apart that I just did so we can continue on okay we're making progress These are the little inserts that go inside the battery terminal. It's got a little thread inside, and that's what your nut attaches to. Problem is, this is loose, floats around inside the terminal. I don't remember what I did when I put this charger on, how I got it, you know, how they didn't, how these didn't fall out, how I was able to reattach them. But what I've been doing, I got the top positive attached now. And I've still got the two of these from the original battery. Well, there's enough room inside that terminal where you can stack them up. So then you can get your threads into the top portion. Don't thread it all the way in. Just get a couple going and then you use a magnet and pull the other one out. So you don't have extra stuff. My other thought was I was going to use a bunch of little flat washers and try to build it up, but luckily this is working. I'm sweating, I'm tired, I'm hot. All to do a damn battery and a little Polaris. Jeez, I've never had more issues with a battery than this thing. So, I have to get my stack up. Of course, these pliers are slightly magnetic, just enough to make it difficult. I thought I had. Let me drop one. Hopefully, that went to the floor. Yeah, if it did, I'm not seeing it. Okay, let me switch it off. Probably have to pull the battery back out again because that's the way today's going. Okay, we found a nut that was dropped. Got it in there with the spacer. Now, I need to get the stack up going again here. Charger wire, battery terminal, screwdriver, screwdriver. Holy pain in the keister. Okay, it's starting. Use the magnet. Pull the other nut out. Rattling in there loose. I don't know if the threads are long enough to catch both of those. Um, screwdriver. Snug it up. Snug it up.
tuck the wires in, put my cap back on the fuse. That's not going to work. Put that might. Okay, before we put everything back together, let's reposition you. Turn the key and see what happens. Do I have the key? I don't have the key. I gotta go over here. Oh, I do have the key. It's right here. Okay, let's see what happens here. Okay, well, let's start this time. Or are there other problems? Lights are coming on, nothing's flashing. See what our voltage meter reads inside the unit. 12.7. It's better than 11.4. I was getting foot on the brake. Yes, it works. Uh, missing one bolt. I think it fell down. In fact, I see it right now, so we'll take care of that afterwards. Uh, can't get this light bar to work. Uh, the fuse is good, wires plugged in. I'll have to look into that later. But the headlights and tail lights work, so and it does start. We're gonna kill the battery with all these short starts. at 12.7 still. Probably a long video, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but uh, I'll get you all later.